Guardians of the Galaxy Issue 1 takes a trip to the hidden star fields of Sector X, where Star Fox has gathered many of the heroes on Thanos' ship Sanctuary to hear out his brother's last will and testament. The message plays and after the Mad Titan's usual posturing, he reveals he had a plan for everything, including his own death. Thanos reveals that he took measures to have his consciousness uploaded and implanted into the mind of someone else upon his demise. As the message ends, Star Fox says that they were gathered since they are the greatest and most influential powers in the universe, and unlike the Avengers who aren't present, they will do what is needed to be done to end Thanos once and for all. Talk turns to where the Guardians of the Galaxy are and why they aren't involved in this, and elsewhere, Peter Quill yells at Groot for getting sawdust everywhere inside his new ship, the Rider, but the moody creature doesn't care. Approaching nowhere, Peter tries to hail them for docking clearance, but no one answers. As they move closer, they learn that nowhere has gone missing and is no longer in its usual place. Star Fox meanwhile tells everyone gathered that they will need to kill a lot of people to stop Thanos again, making Betty Ray Bill question if this is even the truth, since Thanos could be just playing some type of mad game with them all. Star Fox reveals that he has narrowed down their selection to a few heroes and villains on Earth and throughout the galaxy, but they should start with the most obvious, Gamora. Phi Lavelle knew they should have killed her when they got the chance, but Moondragon doesn't think hunting someone down for the actions of their parents is the right thing to do, and they have no evidence Gamora is the right candidate. Soon however, their meeting is interrupted by Nowhere, which arrives and blasts through the starbase, sending out metal tendrils to look for something as the heroes realise it is after Thanos' body, meaning that they will need to protect it from the celestial head. This proves difficult however as the Black Order have arrived to fight the heroes and reclaim their dead master's body. Peter meanwhile talks with the Nova Corps member about the disappearance of Nowhere. The Corps member questions Star-Lord's sobriety and wonders where the rest of the Guardians are, learning that either they are villains, dead, or are just plain missing. The Corps member is alerted to something over his comms, saying that the Celestial's head was spotted moving fast to the Marcus Centauri sector and to meet Thanos' ship, where a meeting is actually being held and a meeting that Groot forgot to mention to Peter. At the meeting, the Black Order continue to fight the heroes, utilizing a wormhole weapon that tears a hole in space and time and sucks all of the heroes in as the Black Order take Thanos' headless body and the celestial head and escape. The heroes are all sucked into the void, but Beta Ray Bill throws Stormbreaker free of it, wrapping it in Ghost Rider's chain and using it as a anchor. The hammer crashes through the front of Peter's arriving ship, making him realize that they are now part of a rescue mission. Using the ship, Peter pulls Beta Ray Bill, Ghost Rider, Phylavel, and Moondragon free, bringing them aboard. As Peter tries to determine what is happening, the Nova Corps arrive, telling him to hand over the heroes since they have questions. Peter refuses to, but learns that his ship rights only extend to his crew, which Peter immediately says that all of these people are part of the new Guardians of the Galaxy crew, something that makes Ghost Rider not too happy about. The Black Order, meanwhile, deliver Thanos' body to a desolate world, where Hela awaits them, telling her new generals to go and find Thanos' head so she can resurrect him. Proxima says that Thanos is now with his greatest love, and to rip him away from that will defy death's will, something even the goddess of death cannot do. Guardians of the Galaxy Issue 1 presents Donny Cates' version of the team in a really awesome way, getting the story underway right away. The mystery of where Thanos is hiding and who he is hiding in is going to be a really interesting one. I of course immediately think it is Gamora, seeing as she was talking with what seemed to be like a ghost or sort of an illusion of him during Infinity Wars after he had died, so kind of makes sense that it would be her, but also that is too obvious, and I think it could be any number of other people, and obviously because Donny Cates has written stuff like Cosmic Ghost Rider and Venom, it could be any one of those characters, or even a new character. How the new Guardians of the Galaxy are brought together is also really awesome and really kind of funny as well with Peter just saying they are the Guardians of the Galaxy in order to have them not carted off to space jail and as well I kind of get the feeling it's also that he has something to do now like he was kind of like a drunk kind of annoyed at Groot before but now he's jumping at the chance to have the Guardians of the Galaxy back together which I think is really pretty cool and I'm interested to see if Donnie actually plays with that a little bit. Having Hela return as well
well is really cool, especially after her role recently in Thor, and it's a cool callback to that role, and I'm really looking forward to the goddess of death fighting the very concept of death, and it should be one hell of a fight. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.